Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West. And today I thought I'd talk about body mount bushings that are used when you're running a subframe connector. Now we manufacture subframe connectors for 67 through 69 Camaros and Firebirds, but other companies do also. We also manufacture interlock body mount bushings, which are standard with our subframe connectors. The back one is included. And then we offer the other four as an auxiliary kit if you want to go the full complete interlock. Now an interlock bushing, what that does or is, is a bushing that goes in between the frame and the body. And then we have a, this is your male portion. Body's here, frame's here, this slips down into the frame. This comes up underneath, sandwiches the frame, and then you have your hardware and washers, lock washers and so on that come up through and lock the body and the frame together. That's why we call them interlocks. But when you have different subframe connectors, that back bushing changes. Now our particular subframe goes around the outside of your frame. So you've got your frame horn that comes back. Ours would go on, on the outside of it. So the top piece, would be a different height on the body mount bushing because I've got material there. Where other companies have the subframe connector slide inside the frame and bolt in. So we make a bushing that will work with their subframe connector if you happen to have purchased that and you want to go to our interlocks. So on this side of the table we actually have body mount bushings part number 811 for Hotchkiss subframes. And the big difference there is, like I said, ours goes around the outside of the frame, Hotchkiss goes in the center of the frame. And so these bushings that we have here, this would drop down from the top. The subframe connector would slide through here, right through here. This comes up, sandwiches the frame, Hotchkiss' subframe index is here. We know they have a, a base piece that comes up, sandwiches the subframe, and then you have your bolt that goes through and locks it in position. So you go to the interlock style design if you have a subframe connector. This over here happens to be for comp engineering. Their subframe connector goes in the inside as well, not like the Hotchkiss, and so we have a little bit different design that goes there. And that has to be the step on the male portion for the rear body mount. And then of course we have the female portion that come up like so and sandwiches everything together. Both go inside the frame, but both are different in how they install. So this particular setup, this is an 818 kit for competition engineering subframes, and this is an 811 for Hotchkiss. The front portion of this are the same parts that you would see in our kits, which would be an 809 kit. So without getting too confusing, what we're going to do is just keep it straight. Hotchkiss is an 811 kit. Comp Engineering is an 818 kit. It all has to do with how the subframe goes inside and indexes in the stock frame. You could convert over to an interlock. By running interlock bushings, you're not going to get any harshness. There's no difference like than a unibody car. You're basically taking the rubber out, you're getting rid of the flex, and tying it together to make it work. That's the whole idea of a, of a locking subframe connector and body mount, is to make the chassis work as one. You don't want to have a subframe connector bolted on solidly and then have the rest of your frame flexing. That's going to create a problem on where it's solidly mounted. It's like leveraging the solid mount. So you want to interlock the entire subframe connector and subframe to your body so you don't have those conditions. Interlock body mounts. 811s for Hotchkiss, 818s for Comp Engineering.